Hey, we're going to do another free money question of the day, give you a chance to win $100 in cash. Coming up. What's this uh, problem with uh, with Verizon? What do we what do we have a Verizon gripe coming up? Yeah, this hour, and it's a big one, right? So, and it actually has something to do with the new eScript process for doctors. Let's uh, tell you right now, I love Doctor Mark Ritter. Yeah, and uh, he's he's going to be coming up. What's going on well, right he, now? If he, I'm if I'm correct, what's happening is um, it, 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 is that event it, starting soon, I believe. All prescriptions are going to be electronic. Yes, and he March has 27th, he, he has York. expressed uh, this month. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he has expressed issues with me on both topics. He, it's so funny. He called me up yesterday and he says, "Andrew, I got to come on tomorrow. I got to come on. I have to talk about this." It's, it's Mark is a uh, Mark Ritter. I remember from the days when they were closing Mohawk Valley General Hospital in Ilion. And uh, Mark is a very vocal guy who has strong beliefs and. Uh, you don't want to get in his way when he's all fired up. And a very good pediatrician, I might. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's loved by many. And uh, also, um, Tiny J. Power is coming up in a second. Um, we're talking about a, a few issues uh, with her, and there's a lot going on. Right now, though, Mary Angelini, the sister of Andrew Dominio, is on the line, and uh, she does a restaurant review for us, and she's been reviewing already. I know it's March. Here we are, March 15th. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning. What are you reviewing today? Well, today it's a little something different. I've picked the top five ice cream places. You know, the nicer weather's coming. You know, let me tell you one thing. I I, I would think that this would be reserved for just children. Not the case. Um, no way. Well, I, I mean, ice cream is big in my life. Uh, <laughs> and what is your favorite ice cream flavor, Mary? By the way. Um. I don't really think I have a favorite. Oh, you like it that much, huh? Yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Yeah. My favorite, favorite is uh, Trump's Along the Mohawk. I'm a big... <laughs> it is... Uh, you know, I like the nuttiness of it. It is just delicious. Okay, Mary. Uh, from the top five, here we go. Okay. So, my number one is probably Bonomo's. Mm, yeah. Oh, you're going backwards. You're going yeah. from number one first. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I like them too. I think they're uh, they they're it, it, the ice cream is really good, and it's kind of it's, a lot of it has to do with the atmosphere over there too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you love the ice cream. Which uh, what do you normally get? Just a single scoop, or do you get a dish? What do you what do you get? I usually get like um, a small cookie dough. Oh yeah. With like chocolate dip or something like that. All right. Ooh. A small and, Mary, <clears throat> really? Yeah. And, uh-huh. and your number two. What is your number two? The ice cream factory. The ice cream factory over there in uh, Chadwick's. Yeah. Yeah, they're very, very good, and also they have one now in the in the mall, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you number three. Um, I'd probably pick Nicky Doodles. Nicky Doodles. Okay. As your number three, uh, your number yeah. four favorite ice cream place in the area. Um, the Hoopla Count. What is it again? She the Hoopla Count. Hoopla. The Hoopla frozen count. yogurt place. Oh, yeah. frozen yogurt. Yeah, okay. They, yeah. All right. Yeah. Is there I think a place? That counts. Is there I a place around counts. here? Yeah, yeah they got two. two. Yeah. Oh, over oh right over near uh, over the to the movie theater. theater. Yeah. yeah, and there and, and the other one's on Jenny. I believe uh he he started the Hoopla company right here in Utica. And your fifth owner. and your fifth favorite ice cream is You know that like ice cream place kinda near where um Notre Dame is, like, if you kept going. Oh, yeah, over yeah. by Slocum Dixon. Burstone, I think. Or it used to yeah. be called Burstone. Yeah, yeah. I like that one, too. It's soft serve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of my favorites What is well. that called? The ice cream place next to Slocum Dixon. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they call the it. The signage is, is expensive. I think it might be Burstone. Burstone. Creamery. Or creamery something. or something like that. But uh, It has, like, the big, like... Ice cream on top of it. It does. Yeah, it's like the old yeah. fashioned, the the old fashioned style. We so. may have yeah. to do some investigative reporting today and figure out what. Yeah. The well, name of that is. I don't think these places are open as of yet, um, unfortunately. Bonomos is. Bonomos is and, open. And yeah. Hoopla. Hoopla's, Hoopla's open here. always open. Yeah. yeah. All right. They open in March. And All in right. fact, uh, the right. um, I'm I'm sorry. Um, Chadwick's number two, the ice, ice cream, cream factory. factory has its location in the mall, of course, and which that's is always open, open. Yeah. year round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good stuff, Mary. Nice job. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, we may, as Christine said, have to do our own little investigating to kind of dig in and uh, 
Uh, but it is a, a favorite ice cream flavor. Anybody? Hagen Dazs vanilla Swiss almond. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah I, I, there aren't many that I don't like. I'd probably say a chocolate peanut butter, some type of combo. I'm there. a chocolate chip, a good chocolate chip fan, which they don't. Nobody has. Nobody has chocolate chip. Everybody goes to, um, you know, to to cookie dough. They got to put something in with the. Yeah, chocolate I just chip. like plain old delicious big chunk chocolate chip ice cream. I've been a big it's really, fan really of the good. Caramel, light, anything with caramel inside lately. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a new, mm. that Ben & Jerry's is bringing back their ice cream sandwich, the brownie sandwich. To go along with the brownie. And that brownie, I think it might, I don't know, but that brownie ice cream sandwich was was like notorious back in the 80s. It was one of the, my favorite things that they had, and they discontinued it. And now I'm told they might uh, be bringing it back. Coming up from Fox News, Tiny J. Powers. We're going to speak with her. Uh, one of the topics is the NCAA tournament. Here's Christine with an update. 